afternoon. Sorry. Uh, American Bulldog. I actually, uh, I'm going to take this shirt off because I had to go do a few things. And it's kind of hot. I actually haven't worked the last two days, but I worked all day Monday and Tuesday. And I've just been grocery shopping and cleaning and getting my taxes ready because I mainly substitute, but I do promos. So there's a lot involved with my taxes and like write-offs and then uh, all the stuff they make you do about insurance and um, my husband's. So I have it all together and ready, but I'm not going to do it till next week because I have to work double jobs tomorrow. I have to teach and then do uh, Flower City Gin, which I'm not sure if I've done that on here before because I think I have, but I'm not sure if that's one of the videos I erased, so I may be doing that again. And I do have a little left that I haven't drank on in a while, and I did drink some the other day, and I kind of gotten over when I got sick with the gin last time. Because I don't know if you've seen my other videos, I was into gin and then I drank too much of it and got sick and then it kind of turned me off of gin. And then, Saturday I have a wine promo. I don't remember the wine, but I'm pretty sure I have not done a video on that. And then another Flower City gin promo. And I'm in the middle of getting another car and, like I said, doing my taxes, trying to set up about my wisdom teeth because that all got changed and now I have to wait until the car deal's done. So... That's going to kind of suck because it's going to be when my husband is busy with work and I'm going to need to have to go there. So that's going to be fun to finish. Well, I'm going to go sit this down. I'll be right back. However, I did get some wines yesterday when I was grocery shopping because um, if you buy four at Winn-Dixie, you get 10% off. And then there was two of them that were buy one, get one free. So this was one of them, Hoodwink. 2017 it's a Cabernet Savon and it's drink me hoodwinked um it I've already drank yesterday it's right here yesterday I drank a little over half the bottle because I had not drank wine since the prior weekend so I'm going to swirl it about at the very bottom of the wine glass and I've already washed it and rinsed it with cold water as you're supposed to do I did look up a little bit about this um, to see if there was other videos, and I looked a little bit up about notes. You can tell the color is like a purplish red. It's got a nice color. You can smell blackberries, a little bit of vanilla. It's kind of like an earthy tone. And like one video I said, I had, I said, that I watched. He was even saying that it kind of hoodwinks you because it's trying to be so many things. It's very interesting smell and it's very interesting taste. It's a light to medium body um, Cabernet Sauvignon. It's good. It's not my favorite Cabernet, but it is buy one get one free night right now. So if you buy them, they're eleven ninety nine, but basically like six fifty each because you get buy one get one free. And this is made in Hopland, Mendocino County, California. And it says we pulled out the stops to craft the most scrumptious, lip smackeriest. Give me another sip, Cabernet. Right, berry, vanilla, spice, and some toasty warm oak leak from the glass and frolic on your palate. That's why sippers of all stripes will find our cabs so smooth and silky. You can't help but come back for another splash. So I'm going to be finishing this one up right now. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed because I did plan on getting another car, but not so fast. So I'm feeling like taking off the edge, and it is a little earlier than I normally drink. It's almost 3 but I'm making sloppy joes tonight and some potato salad and salad. So I'm just going to go ahead and have me some of this. I don't think I'm going to open up the other one, though. I think I'm going to open up the Josh uh, Legacy Red Blend. And I'm not sure if I've done that either because I've promoted this quite a bit. And I know I've done some. So this may be my next video today because I probably won't be able to get to another video until a week. I would like to get to do a video of um, 
things that are going on in my life, but at times I get ready to talk about it and then at times I don't just because on my channel I've explained some things of why I started having a channel and it just kind of ties in together. But who knows when that's going to come. But it does have a screw top which makes it nice. It, I do really like the label. It is oaky and it's vanilla spice and um, ripe berry, like blackberry and plum because it's dark. It is good. Don't get me wrong. The longer you let it set, it even gets better. And with certain cheeses, I had Gouda with it yesterday. It was very nice. So I definitely recommend it. Stay tuned for my other videos. And I will get to crimes. I know there's a lot of crimes that have happened recently. I don't remember her name. I think photo or whatever his name was. I'm probably saying it wrong. That crime I kind of want to look into, but I haven't really had time. With work and trying to get taxes done, trying to get my teeth done, trying to get this car sold and get another one, because that's always a feat in itself. So, I will try to at least do a couple videos a week, at least I'm going to get back to doing like recipes, because my husband's home early and I don't like to do this video when my family's around because I'd rather do it when no one's around. But I will get back to more recipes, more crime stories. Eventually, want to explain the craziness that happened in my situation and just other things. I'm not sure if that's even going to happen until like spring or summer, but I will try. So, definitely try Hoodwinked. Drink me Hoodwinked and have a great day.